Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 3. We're jumping into our battle with the Uchi, and she's been the hero armored cruiser for us so far. She valiantly held off, what was it, like two armored cruisers, two opposing armored cruisers, and two opposing, or three opposing light cruisers, a destroyer. Quite a, quite a show, she put on quite a show, and... I probably won't be role-playing like the actual captains and stuff too crazily. You have very brave captains in, in every naval service. I mean, there's plenty of... Uh, this is... What the heck battle is this? What's my objective? I have a strong feeling that we're just going to zip right by whatever we're supposed to find out here. Unless this is... Yeah... Oh, or not. All right. <sighs> Torpedoes is what, obviously what everyone's thinking right now. Okay, prepare to fire. Los! I guess that's the wrong, the wrong navy. <laughs> Fire again. Well, two hits. She is firing her other torpedo, I think. Out of arc. Out of arc, interesting. Out of arc. Seems like it's actually a pretty good arc to me. Oh, wow, that nearly hit her. We will chase. Hopefully outside of torpedo range. I think this is a light cruiser. Just the speed at which it turned there. Okay, let's pursue from the aft. They were porting on the coals. The Uchi is, cl is closing. Oh. Okay. Oh god. Well, that maneuvering has got to be uh, difficult to hit with a torpedo. All right, here we go. Hit him. Hit him with our six-inch guns. Wind advantage is this way. Two more hits on our six-inch guns. Got her. I think we got her. I do want to stay on this side of her, but okay, well, not like that. Okay, that was a good, we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. All right, no more hits, so we'll keep. The Uji has just been a what a hero. And the roleplay, by the way, has been very good so far already. I may even not be able to read all of it. There's actually so much of it. It's like reading a book. <laughs> I don't actually have time to read everything. Anyway, we're doing really well. The Uchi's doing really well in this battle. Ah, we finally know what we're up against. Two 9-inch guns. It has a catapult for aircraft, which don't exist yet. Truly a ship ahead of her time. <clears throat> Anyways, we're uh, we're starting to land a lot of hits. Eight inch guns, six inch guns, the whole the whole kit and caboodle. I think it's time. I, I actually strike that. Let me just look and see what our range is. Oh, that's that is interesting. But let me first look at my range is. 2600. So now let me see that. 2600. We're penetrating. We are probably penetrating. It was 2500 or 35? Yeah, 2500. I think we're penetrating. 
So even the six inch shells should be penetrating. And the eight inch, oh, she's on fire now. That's a very good sign that she's in trouble. Oh, she's in serious trouble. We'll try to cut her off just to finish her off <clears throat> peacefully. Out of arc. Don't you tell me out of arc. Hmm. How about now? Whew. Finally. I doubt it'll hit, but... Maybe? Ah. The last moment. So we'll just keep firing from just outside torpedo range. In fact, I'm going to be so brave as to just put on fast mode. Uncertain identity. It's the ship we've been firing at for, you know, the entire... There's not even another ship out here. How can you possibly mistake its identity? <laughs> Switch over to the starboard side so we can... There it is. I was hitting space to pause, but we got lucky. So, there she is. Is it, by the way? I didn't... Regress my cursor on her? There we go. It was a Veneta class. Okay, just want to make sure. And I didn't see the points we get or whatever, but... There it is, 1300. And everything is shifting off to the... Fighting continues to cash out bay. Everything is shifting off to the, to the left. I actually changed... Um, the position that I'm capturing on my monitor just to make it so that it would fit the battle screen pop-up location, but oh well, didn't work. How did we get 500 dock size? I, didn't, I did not even know civilians could only increase it by or might only increase it by 500. So um, what was it, what were the other things I wanted to talk about? Oh, did the lack of destroyers? I like completely hear the people who are disappointed. That there has been no destroyers made so far. I I hear you. Your cries are not falling on deaf ears. Let me go to the destroyers. Um did I accidentally make this? Did someone else have the Ouchi? Huh. The Uchi was supposed to be my destroyer class, <laughs> and now it's already my my armor class, uh, armor cruiser. Okay, so I'll have to recycle the name here. Um, I do want to make a new destroyer. We have money right now, not a lot of it, but what are we doing with our money anyway? Besides letting the besides letting the uh, army take it all. So let's get let's just design a, a destroyer, and we'll probably have. Just, I'm, I think we're gonna have like a continuous rolling out of destroyers. I don't really need speed. What I want more than anything is torpedoes. Why? Because surprise attacks just need torpedoes. And that's what this thing is being built for, is torpedoes. How does that look? Seriously overweight, design is illegal. Okay, but if you're telling me there's a chance, uh, four inch guns, well, shoot. What if we make this uh, priority speed? <gasps> <clears throat> rate of fire. Do I care about rate of fire? The destroyers, I mean, torpedoes are only going to fire once anyway. Also, if I made these short range, no, let's make them, let's keep them medium range and just leave speed as the priority. These things are going to just slow down and putter out very quickly, no matter what. <clears throat> so I think we have, we have a three torpedo broadside. Seems pretty good. We'll name this the Kurama. Oops, that's what caps lock does to you. So this will be the Kurama. And I don't think there's anything we really need to think about. We just build it and we get going. <clears throat> so um, do we want to invade anything? We were already invading Casho Bay, cruiser action. There have been plenty of these. At least we should not, I didn't check, but were we being blockaded? Yeah, this is weird. It keeps shifting everything to the left, so I might have to go back and shift my <laughs> shift my capture window further to the left. Or maybe did I not apply it? Maybe it didn't cat, uh, keep. Now this is one veteran ship, crew quality one. I mean, this is, should almost be crew quality two. These are some damn veterans on this. 
on this fine, fine vessel. All right, well, let's stay at cruise speed for a little bit here until we know what we're up against. We should, if it's just one, we should be able to run, uh-huh. Yeah, that's not one. The Uchi is by, like, by no means <laughs> a stranger to being outnumbered. It doesn't mean that's a desire, a situation we desire. Like, what the hell? This gives me a feeling of, like, battleships. Okay, good. So those are destroyers, and those are... Do we have a chance here? Okay, let's move back to port. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These aren't armored cruisers. These are not armored cruisers at all. They're currently leaving us. Okay, we're gonna have to go up squad max to keep up. Didn't want to have to do it, but lock the screen and it'll be easier to follow these guys. We are, we are catching. Oh my god, that was that was suddenly terrifying. Let's go down to wow, cruise speed. I forgot is very. Low. <clears throat> Let's go down to 18. They're about to hit the wall anyway the island <laughs> they're about to hit the island <laughs> so we'll just take the uh, shortcut <clears throat> I'm gonna turn off my lock here so we're just gonna try to beat them to the edge wow the edge is way over here so we shouldn't have any problems in fact, we'd probably have to close the distance a bit more just because it's quite possible they will turn east when they hit this area. We are actually landing a few hits now and then, which is good. I don't think they are turning east, so we are in good shape. We have them now, Captain. I would like to continue to close the gap, but this long distance battle is, oh, the destroyer's left. Ooh, well, that's nice. Nice for us, at least. Could it be that we are going to defeat, the Uchi single-handedly is going to defeat the German Navy? The Hoxsiflota is no more. Wow, so we definitely took that Thetis or Thetis class out. <clears throat> I want to go and get the other one. I know that we may not have sunk this one. One, two, three, four. She's got four turrets destroyed. Am I getting greedy? So the thing is, I don't think, at the very least, I don't think that this Thetis class is going to be able to uh, escape. So I am hoping that we can get a twofer here. And we are, we have sunk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is it is it going to happen? Is it the royal flush? Is it the perfect sweep? <laughs> my heart actually like physically skipped a beat when that pop-up happened. I thought I was hit by a torpedo. Okay, focus on that. Focus on that. Destroyer a little bit, my friend. Oh my gosh. The perfect sweep. The perfect sweep. Auchi, you're you're going down in history. This is the new Sunk George. Nah, to be fair, this was a an engagement she should have won. There was no uh, it wasn't like a against all odds type thing, but But I would say most of the success from her previous battle, um, when she did take on two armored cruisers and a complement of light cruisers and a destroyer, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, so somehow, <gasps> our forces have taken control of the German possession of Kyasho Bay. Yes! Yes! Admiral Tortuga, there is some... 
There is some method to his madness. His lack of surprise attack. It all worked out in the end. Okay, our latest design. I'm going to just build it. Let's just build it. How many do we want? Okay, 212 is really not that bad. We'll get six. I haven't responded yet to Gascan and Katori's long informational suggestion comment, but they suggest doing a higher turnover rate, um, slower, basically quicker cycles of l less ships. Now, I mean, I, I can tell you why, you know, there's a reason why I don't do that typically, but I think it makes a lot more sense for destroyers where not a whole lot changes between them. You know, you're not going to get a better gun caliber or better armor or anything like that. The only thing you're changing is the number of torpedoes. And yes, generally you can fit more torpedoes if you have better torpedo launching technology, like doubles versus triples, or, I mean, the biggest step up is probably singles versus doubles, right? That's a 100% increase. Um, but all that usually does, I mean, as soon as you have doubles, at least, going from doubles to triples or triples to quads, it only... Um, it doesn't. It just means you can probably fit more total on. It doesn't make your destroyers much more efficient because I think the torpedo per launcher cost um, is the same, which means basically however many individual torpedoes you can fire, that is how much weight you have. Doubles, triples, quads. I don't think anything improves the the weight ratio. Okay. So, anyways, thanks to Uchi and her her kill against. That's right. She she did have the one on one she got, and then she had the one on four, but it wasn't like it was four even opponents, but the two light cruisers, two destroyers, she took them out as well. I'm actually surprised our victory point discrepancy isn't a lot higher, but it's not. So wouldn't it be nice if our battleships could get into some of the action? Wouldn't that be nice? Um, question about that, are the Germans, yeah, they still have ships here. Now we're not blockaded, that's the good news. And I think the best thing we could do now is, I don't know if it's possible because the British, uh, German, sorry, the Germans have enough ships in Northeast Asia that we can't really leave it. Um, they no longer can do anything here except for blockade me. And I could, I believe, yes, I definitely can invade the Bismarck Archipelago. If I really want to add insult to injury, we can, but we have to sneak out with some ships. Um, it's not that we're going to be stopped. We're not blockaded right now, but they have enough points that it might cause a blockade. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know what the best decision is here. Okay, we have one light cruiser. They have more than that. Apparently one of the options they have is a seaplane tender. It's 1904. We don't, the world doesn't know what a seaplane tender is yet. <laughs> May I remind you game? <laughs> yeah, so it, it definitely does slide everything. I'll just have to be mindful. The window keeps popping out to the left. So it doesn't matter where my window recording window is. It wouldn't help. I am pretty content to run away from whatever this is. Unless we can make it down to my uh, coastal battery. Which, I don't know what event this was. I should really be paying more, oh, there it is. I really should be paying more attention to the uh, mission types. The, yeah, she, they went north anyway, to the, the battle type. New docks complete. The very first thing we want to do, the Hansa, that's the one we sank, I thought. Weird. So they are sinking some merchant points and gathering victory points accordingly. We could do that as well, but I'm so afraid of being blockaded that we've been reluctant to. It is actually going to be interesting to have the 500 there because... I, I have obviously I've never designed a ship to be exactly 500 plus. <laughs> I mean, any 500 tons. You know, when's the last time I I can't tell you if I've ever made a dreadnought which was 25,500 tons or 24,500. 
So it's gonna, it may like disrupt my design flow. Might have to be a little bit more creative. And hey, maybe you're thinking that's a good thing. Okay, so anything more to do? We're still building those coastal submarines. Cruiser action again. So this is a cruiser action, Tortuga. Remember, cruiser action. And nowhere near our coastal batteries. If we're going to run into something, let's run into it. No. Guess not. Good times. Okay, 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 okay. I really want to encounter it. I really, really, really want to encounter it. Oh, submarines. Hooray. We found, we, we know periscopes now. That seems like a good thing. Oh man, they have a lot of stuff they're out there sinking. Well, we're still ahead in victory points. Unrest is four, so they're actually doing, <laughs> it's actually con contributing. Budget allowing, maybe I'll build a group of three more of these. Aha! The latest army offensive has been a complete success, breaking through the front in all places. 1,500 victory points. This is the first time that those victory points actually meant something. Okay, they've sent out feelers. We shall not let them off lightly. Turrets and gun mountings. Yeah, that was actually pretty important to get that, that success. I think I am going to build some more submarines. Um, if you're wondering why, it's just because I want to get our budget down since we can only get up to 60. And I don't have a new big ship I want to build yet, so. Pneumatic Recuperator. Still losing a few things now and then during the merchant trade-off. But Unrest is still at 4, so we're doing okay. I want, I kind of want the war to end because we already took two holdings. Okay, small engagement. 280. What? <laughs> A Corvette. Okay, yeah, this is... I don't want this thing in the fight. As soon as I can. Okay, just head this way. Squad Max. <laughs> Get out of there. Alright, good. Yeah, two, it was two Corvettes versus, uh, you know, an armored cruiser and a light cruiser. Nothing like a fair fight to get you started. That might have been without me shifting the screen, so anyway. Army wants more resources. Look at you guys already did this. You already did that. What? All right, roll the troops. Yeah, they have nobody there. Okay, we're, we're leaving. We're taking pretty much everyone with us. That's that's really not that much, but I guess <laughs> that's when you realize your fleet isn't that big to begin with. We're going. All right, uh, I should have a light cruiser here. I do. So they have 36 to 4. Yeah, they definitely have the points to do this. Aha! Our crew are prepared. Um, I consider an offer in safe passage for a revolutionary foment, foment revolution may force them to the negotiating table. Hmm. I don't know. I I feel like the the Japanese, if I wanted to role play at all, if I wanted to try to adopt Japanese policy, their policy would probably be this. It might be. Well, it could be any of these, but 
This one gives me prestige. I don't really think I, I... The unrest level favors, I'm pretty sure, the Germans more than me. So playing the unrest game is dangerous. If I give him safe, safe passage, it could backfire, and that's really troubling. <clears throat> so in that, with that in mind, yeah, I will do that. <clears throat> okay, we had no battle. Now, we do have, <clears throat> thankfully, one battery, which is going to help us in our defense. And I will counter invade. Ooh, we'll accept. All right. So we probably are, well, almost surely are going to uh, <clears throat> win this invasion since they declined the battle. And now we have a fleet. Now, it's still not... Wait. What? Did I... Oh, the Kazan was in port. Damn it, it was in port with repairs. Okay, we'll go late. Better late than never, I guess. Yeah, I just should have been looking over here. Here, yeah. To see <clears throat> if this one was in good condition or not. And in fact, um, you know, we're sending three. Why not? We'll, we'll pursue the British or the German fleet wherever they go. <clears throat> Mainly I was thinking, hey, why do I want a one that's good? I'd rather ones with, with our elite. And I think our tr crew training really is elite right now. It's pretty crazy. Um, we want to improve this base as well. Well, not, I guess, if we're just about to lose it. We'll wait just a little bit, but we'll improve this base just to make sure we can fit everyone in the Southeast Asia. Okay, let's go. See, they declined it again. And then something... I really got to read those. But it's the Uchi, so we know we're okay. I'm seeing destroyed bombardment target. Oh, it's the same mission, except for this time during the day. Well, no point in rushing there too quickly before like burning out our boilers a little bit early. Okay, good. So this is the target. There was some speculation last time that if I had just stopped, as in not moved outside the target, uh, I would have had better success. I'm actually going to make sure that we conserve our ammunition. So I'm going to hold fire until we're... Do we see the whites of their eyes? Um, but I don't think it's a good idea at night to be stopped in range of the opponent. Because that's just uh, begging for torpedoes. It's begging to be torpedoed. Speaking of, we've sighted an unknown ship. This is probably the fleet that we've been waiting to see if it would respond. And if, I, I mean, I'm willing to go after this guy. Bombardment target be damned. Okay, this is a light cruiser. Should we speed up to 18? Let's start cooking. Because we're doing a real number on this bombardment target so far. And here they come to save the day. Well, I got news for you. Nope, they changed their mind. <laughs> Wisely changed their mind, I should say. We will leave the bombardment target. We will be able to stop them from entering port with this angle so far. All right, let's go up to squad max, but not like we really... If this is all they have, then we are going to be okay. Just rushing in, trying to sink them. Unknown ship. Where? Where, where, where? Oh, it's another... Oh, so that maybe that's the 11-inch guns again. Yeah, those would be problematic. It is. Okay, so... Ah... <sighs> Oh, we actually managed to land a hit. Unknown ship. Oh, that's an actual ship. I think we're going to go in here. We're going to... Oh, we're already going squad max. We're going to make the turn, and we're going to go in and just cut her off from the from the battery. So we may end up facing that battery, but... Yeah, they're firing at us now. We're just hoping that we end her before the batteries end us. She's on fire or something? 
Yeah, she's on fire. Fire is definitely one dangerous, very dangerous thing for these early ships. They didn't have very good fire, um, fire control, not fire control, um, damage control of fire. Ooh, we, <laughs> we hit the 16. I'm not, don't fire at that. Don't fire at that. Please target this ship so we can get out of here. Okay, we have to turn away. We're getting just way too dangerously close for torpedo range. Let's keep stock of everything as well. Hit. Come on. Come on. Okay. What the heck is going on? We found her. Kept her out of port. We oh, what? That? What? What? What the heck happened? I think that she went into port. It's just a little bit weird the way she did it. Hopefully she's actually just sunk, but... Alright, um, once again, let's conserve our ammunition. Once again, we're going to have to do this at night. And once again, I'm not going to engage <clears throat> with slow speed. You can get me to go 14, but that's the best, or the slowest I'm going to do. Should have plenty of time, honestly, to hit this thing. There it is. Which we had plenty of time last time as well. We just artificially, arbitrarily, the game just decided, hey, Light Cruiser, you got to go home now. And I was thinking about it. I was like, realistically, you might be given orders that you have to return by this time, but... I think if you're in the middle of the attacking the target and you're doing damage and you haven't completed it, but you know you could, I don't know, just feels a little bit funny that basically the game didn't let me make that decision. I'm the admiral after all. If I want my ship to come back late, I should be able to send it back late. All right, well, we'll zip around at 16 really fast, you know, real fast like. See if we can catch anything else. Is there anything else out here? Because it slowed me down suddenly. Yeah, I don't think we ended up sinking that thing. So we'll just cruise this way. Wait for the mission to end, but maybe we'll pick up a merchant along the way. Not that it matters. Oh, we're heading home anyway. <laughs> Whee! Alright, so I think it did go into port, which is a real bummer. Yep. Okay, well, fair enough. Really, really, really wish we could have sank that, or... Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, 27 submarines. Well, look at, look at us now. I still want to do this. Our forces are fighting valiantly in Bougainville. They should be. I mean, they the Germans declined two two um, invasion fights. So I I just thought that it, I actually thought that declining an invasion fight like that meant you lose. But I might not be right. This fight goes on long enough. I am I'm. I am pretty okay with trying to counter-invade. Real tug of war we have going on in the South Pacific. Not that I really want those places in the South Pacific, it's more foreign stations. Huge jump of balance, that's because the submarines finished? Okay, so these are at 46, those are pretty bad. I think I will build uh, another sloth of... Another nine. 
Ah! Oh, yes! Finally! Oh, they're all here! Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright, let's, let's get to it then. Let's see what goes on. How are we going to do this? Unknown ship sighted, fantastic. Here we go. Off AI control, the great news about these smaller battles is that we are not going to have a hard time controlling these ships. Um, your scouting screen. Let's get you guys to go to line ahead. And let the Ouchi scout for, you know, the actual scouting. Let our battleships kind of continue. We have to kind of, I have to think about what I want to do to lure the battleships in. But, f but first I want to know, oh, why are you doing, oh, don't do 20. Don't do, don't even not, do not do 22, do not even do 20, do 18. Which I think will conserve your boilers somewhat. Okay, they have not spotted our battleships. We're going to start running southward. Actually, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I want to try to angle them. Okay, I think I want to draw them back. Okay, let's let's go to the south. I think I want to angle them. I, I know that the wind is out of the north, so it is best to be in the south, but... <clears throat> we'll just draw them back that way, I guess. Or is she luring me? Who's luring who here? I don't want to not engage. I really do want to engage, so I will end up moving towards this. I will take the bait, essentially, if that's what's required. But our battleships are definitely not going to move quickly. I did turn southward for a bit. Oh, God. It's a fleet battle. Come on, game. Why won't you let me have a fleet battle? Why? I'm just going to guess that they might be heading back over this way. Oh lord. Oh my good gracious. Oh lord. It I don't know why it had to work out this way, but it did. Oh my god. Well. Wow. Let the light cruisers deal with that one. <laughs> I'm happy we found it cuz we will put it to bed. Is it a destroyer? Well, I think it was a Corvette. Now they know where we are now, so hopefully they'll just come and find us. Well, I mean, even if they don't, we at least sank something. I, I guess it already sank. Put them back down to 16. You are at 18, that's fine. We'll put you to 16 as well. We'll converge, and I think at this point what we'll do is forget scouting. Go to support. Yeah, I controlled. And you go to... Can I go to screen? Okay, you go to scout for the battleships. And can you go to, oh, uh, you can't scout? Hmm. 
No. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. If I put you to AI control, what do you do? Oh, you stay with them. Alright, that's fine. Okay, cool. We'll just motor around like this then. Uh, yeah, you kind of don't. Stay with me. <laughs> well, that's it. Oh, man, it would have been such a nice battle. Let's see what happened. Did they went they went north? Are they are they in port? Yeah, they went into port. They actually did come after us. 1300 is when we had that fight and they were down here. 1100, so 1300 is probably somewhere over here, 1300. They actually did come back for us. Oh, man, that would have been awesome, but hey, how could I possibly have known that? And we're already getting some destroyers. Fantastic. Uh, we'll try to secure better peace terms. We now have 30 operational submarines that are, that are doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Reliability of 46. We're not expecting too much. We'll get some more, though. just because our monthly balance is a bit high. Okay, battleship engagement again, please. What's the date? Okay, we have plenty of time to engage, should it actually happen. And I really hope it does. And this time, um, I like that the cruiser is gonna be part of the battle division, but, oh man, I think you guys are really gonna hate this. It's 48 minutes into, the, into this already. So I think we're just gonna go and find them, and then we're probably gonna call this video to a close. I've warned you. <laughs> so, well, I don't know if you heard that, but that is my curtain call. So, we'll wrap this one up here. Hopefully, this fleet battle materializes. We haven't had very good luck with it so far, but we won't find that out until the next episode. So, until then, thanks for watching and take care.